In this one, we are going to be talking about a problem that we face uh, while like we set the state inside our for loops. So it can actually like get our unexpected behavior during our renders and uh, like even when you are console logging. So we're going to be seeing that in this one. So here we have an example that uh, if we click this, so you can see that uh, we are printing one, two, three, and seven. And in our console log, it is our one, two, three. And let's look at the code here. So in the code, we can see that we have a state which is initialized with an array of one, two, three. And here we have a variable num which is initialized with a four. And we have a handle click function, which is just uh, like when we click. It's going to have this for loop and it's going to set our state with uh, like every number and uh, it is going to append it in our array. And here we can see we have created a, the array again uh, with the additional value that we have. So it should have had a one, two, three, and four, five, six. But if we see here, we have one, two, three and then directly seven and in our console log it is one two three so like the behavior that we expected like it's not the same so this is the problem that comes when we have our batching in react so let's look at this how we can actually solve it so like like first off like this is the behavior in this is not predictable because react what it might do is like it actually batches all the setup date the state operation all together and then like uh, the behavior is actually unexpected like you could have also gotten the answer as one two three four five six as expected so here in this case you can see like we got something else and let's refresh this and if we click it one two three seven so sometimes you can even get uh, the answer as expected but the behavior is actually not predictable so we don't want that in our applications that we create so to actually ensure the behavior is expected we can actually do this so instead of updating the state inside the for loop what we can do is we can put it the set state outside and we can actually create an array let's make it as this and let's update this array as the num that we have a spread operator with the num as this and we can this as this and let's see if this solves a problem so let's refresh this and if we click it we got eight and one two three so even here why this didn't even work so here we can see the u state like this one is actually might not be set so this one is also not going to work so for this what we can do as okay let's make it as this here and make it as numbers comma Oops. And let's see. So if we click this, so here you can see one, two, three, five, six, and okay, we can just make it as empty. Yeah. So now this time, if you do this, one, two, three, five, six, and seven. So why this happened? Because we have a num here. If we 
make it as post increment just this and one two three four five six so this worked like the render happened correctly but if you look at the console log this one two three even though the console log is actually outside it still didn't printed the actual array that has been updated so this is also an issue because sometimes you can have a function that you want only after your like state has been updated i mean this has been updated so for this you can use a use effect so use effect is a hook in react so which will only trigger your function after a state has been updated so in this case we have a state numbers that we want like when this is updated only then console log so inside use effect okay so let me refresh this okay because uh, we have initialized the state as one two three that's why this printed so we can ignore this and now this time if you click this one two three four five six and here one two three four five six so this is how you can actually tackle this problem of batching when it comes like it is actually uh, you can say a perk of react of batching but sometimes in this case you have to tackle it using this way specifically in this case we have used like the scenario of for loops like what the problem comes so you can tackle this and that's about it for this one